Above Parliament today, not so much white smoke, but gathering clouds. Could MPs decide this deal is another poor reflection of Theresa May's? This afternoon, the DUP had packed up their support, wheeling away vital votes for the Prime Minister. In order to avoid trying to get an extension, he has been too eager by far to get a deal at any cost. And uh, the fact of the matter is that if he held his nerve and held out, he would, of course, got yeah. better concessions which kept the integrity, both economic and constitutional, of the United Kingdom. Which means this does begin to look like a replay of everything we've seen before. He's failed in exactly the same way as Theresa May. He's got a deal in Brussels, but he can't do a deal with the DUP. I'm sure that our friends in the DUP and people in other political parties, when they see this deal in the round, when they see the way in which it ensures that we can leave as one United Kingdom whole and entire, will recognise that this excellent deal is the best way not just of honouring the referendum mandate, but also of strengthening the whole United Kingdom. But not according to Labour, who also won't vote for it. And we believe the deal he's proposed is heading Britain in the direction of a deregulated society with a sell-off of national assets to American corporations. So, as it stands, we cannot support this deal and will oppose it in Parliament on Saturday. Which leaves the Prime Minister scrapping around for the 320 votes he needs. If every Conservative MP backs him, including the ERG, that would add up to 287. But many are worried by the DUP's decision to vote against it, unless their 10 MPs are somehow won over. That leaves the Prime Minister needing at least another 33 votes. Some could come from the 21 former Tory MPs who were thrown out of the party last month. But for most of the rest, the Prime Minister will have to look to Labour. On all sides of the House, the devil is in the detail and they're still reading it. I'm not going to accept somebody else's uh, idea of what's right and wrong. I must now figure out that this deal delivers on what he said, which is we are leaving we are going out on the 31st. Trying to convince him this was the Prime Minister on the phone, who's already persuaded some Labour rebels his deal is better than none at all. I want to vote for a deal, in, um, and it is my intention to vote for a deal unless uh, Boris has completely undermined workers' rights, environmental rights and consumer rights. Others will only give their vote to the deal if the public get one too via an amendment. If you can successfully attach a referendum to this deal, can you then vote for it on Saturday? Well, of course, the Liberal Democrats have been calling for a people's vote on the Brexit deal for more than three years. We have led that campaign because we want to stop Brexit. And the way to do that is to put a specific Brexit deal to the public. But after years of this debate, just a couple more days of it, and will Parliament decide the wait should be over? Paul Brandt, News at 10, Westminster.